In the Stargate Orion, there is a star that has enchanted cosmologists for a really broad time period. The Creepy Crawly Jews. This particularly gigantic red star is more important than our sun. In later years, Betelgeuse has been acting particularly peculiarly. It has lessened fundamentally and even started to vibrate violently. This has provoked hypotheses that this once luxurious star is pushing toward a Godib influence. Yet, ponder how possible it is that we are truly seeing the start of a more precarious and disturbing event. Consider the probability that the alarming, pretty much nothing, animal scarab Jew will not explode. However, taking everything into account, it could break down on itself. Join us as we examine the most recent exploration on bug Jews and its possible consequences for our planet. Through this assessment, we expect to comprehend the fundamental effect of Creepy Crawly Jews' breakdown on the future of the universe. Creepy Crawly Jews is an enormous star, on various occasions more important than our sun, and it is among the universe's largest. However, its size comes with a cost. Stars like this have limited life expectancies, and Betelgeuse is no exception. It's a ticking delayed bomb, ready to explode. Yet, the specific moment remaining is a mystery. Organized around 650 light years away, Creepy Crawly Jews has stunned cosmologists, shining as one of our closest stars. As we wonder about its splendor, we attempt to unravel the mysteries concealed inside its searing depths. However, only 13.3% of its brilliant energy is apparent to us. If we could see its full wonder, it would surpass even Sirius in the night sky. Imagine a titanic star with a sweep generally that of our sun, stretching out past the asteroid belt and nearly touching Jupiter. Inside this gigantic area, Earth, Mars, Mercury, and Venus would be inundated by Betelgeuse's huge gravitational power. Yet the shocks don't end there. Every few hundred years, Betelgeuse sheds a solar mass, pushing off its external layers in a brilliant showcase of vast magnificence. A cloud, usually larger than the star itself, envelopes Betelgeuse, covering it in an ethereal fog that catches our gaze. This cloud, broadening 30 light years, invites us into a grand, divine dance, cajoling us to uncover its secrets. We must dive further into the core of Bug's creation, where the atomic combination of hydrogen makes helium in a huge release of energy over time. As the star's hydrogen fuel diminishes, a great change happens. Helium combines with carbon, creating brightness that moves through the universe. Yet even this incredible combination has its limits. As neon and iron consolidate, a shocking change occurs. The star's gravity, debilitated by the deficiency of energy, triggers an impending breakdown, pushing scarab Jews toward a destiny that is both stunning, inspiring, and unnerving. A calamitous blast. Stars go through an enchanting change, advancing from the dynamic blues of youth to the exploding reds of advanced age. During the second century BC, Chinese cosmologists saw a strange visible peculiarity. Creepy Crawly Jews' unmistakable yellow shade set it apart from the heavenly embroidered artwork. As the centuries unfurled, the observation passed to Greek and Roman stargazers. For example, Hipparchus in the 2nd century AD in his detailed records described Creepy Crawly Jews as having an orangish or tanned appearance, a characteristic that still charms us today. This distinct tone, noted across various cultures, adds to the interest surrounding Betelgeuse. The tale of insect Jews takes another curve as we plunge further into its whimsical behavior. In 2019, the star dumbfounded experts by suddenly darkening. Experts initially accepted that an enormous residue storm set free from the star's surface had clouded our view. However, the origin of the cloud remains muddled. Some specialists theorize that an enormous object, like a planet, could have disturbed the star's surface or even been consumed by it. As of late, Scarab Jew has become twice as brilliant as its regular brightness. This is astounding, since stars normally faint as they age. Specialists are unsure about the reason for this sudden expansion in splendor. However, they do know that divine glow can change due to many factors. A few stars go through cycles of brilliance, and it is named a diminishing Betelgeuse variable star as it changes in brightness, expanding and contracting consistently, changing how much light it transmits. This is a typical event with many stars, 
including Aldebaran and around 30 other stars apparent in the night sky without a telescope. Inside Betelgeuse's center, a seismic shift is happening with the release of exploding material into space, creating a gigantic dust haze of tremendous extent. This dust cloud darkened a critical piece of its brilliant light, changing it from a striking reference point to a dimmer star in the night sky. Scarab Jew's splendor dropped to levels previously incomprehensible. Once thought of as among the 10 most brilliant stars, it now ranks lower than the 20th most brilliant. Lately, Betelgeuse's behavior has paralyzed cosmologists, testing the standards of heavenly conduct. Some suspect that monstrous sunspots or residue hazes are responsible for its emotional changes, while others have explored the plausibility of repeating designs. Their research has uncovered the agitating thought that Betelgeuse's infinite blast might have already happened. Yes, you heard that right. While past estimates projected its grand impact event to be hundreds of years away, current proof suggests an alternate story. The gigantic blast could be the next major divine event in our system. Some specialists propose a model suggesting that Betelgeuse is in the late stages of carbon consuming, demonstrating that it very well may be moving toward a huge blast. This positions Betelgeuse as a solid competitor for the next expected astronomical explosion in our Milky Way. Predicting the specific timing of a cosmic explosion is a perplexing and testing task. While researchers can estimate the likelihood of a cosmic explosion based on a star's age and conduct, accurate forecasts are troublesome due to the many variables involved. Factors like the star's mass, composition, and general climate can impact the timing and nature of the blast. Current models of heavenly advancement and cosmic explosion mechanics provide significant insights, yet much still needs to be understood about the particular circumstances that lead to an infinite blast. Continued observations of creepy crawly Jews and other enormous stars are crucial for refining these models and advancing our understanding of these glorious vast events. The investigation of insect Jews offers critical insights into heavenly advancement. By looking at the star's behavior and attributes, scientists can acquire a more profound understanding of the life cycles of other huge stars and the processes leading up to supernovae. Scarab Jews' unusual properties, like its size, splendor, and erratic conduct provide valuable data for developing and testing theoretical models of heavenly advancement. Besides concentrating on bug Jew's interactions with its environment and its potential cosmic explosion, it will add to the ongoing studies of vast development, influencing the improvement of new stars and planetary systems. The emotional nature of Betelgeuse's behavior has captured the public's imagination and ignited worldwide interest in cosmology. Educational programs and popular science articles frequently feature Betelgeuse as an example of the intriguing and dynamic processes happening in the universe. Public engagement with such topics encourages interest in science and advances a broader understanding of divine phenomena. As technology continues to advance, future observations of Betelgeuse will provide even more detailed insights into its behavior and evolution. New telescopes and observational methods will allow researchers to monitor the star's development with greater accuracy, revealing additional clues about its approaching cosmic explosion. Analysts are also exploring the use of computational models and simulations to better understand the processes occurring inside Betelgeuse and other massive stars. These models assist with predicting the star's future behavior and refining our understanding of the mechanisms driving supernovae. The study of Scarab Jew offers a breathtaking look into the life cycle of giant stars and their effect on the universe. From its gigantic size and complex combination cycles to its potential as a cosmic explosion candidate, Scarab Jew remains a focal point in the field of cosmology. As we continue to investigate and understand the striking star, we gain significant insights into the dynamic processes shaping the universe. Its inevitable blast won't just mark an amazing event in the universe, but will also contribute to the ongoing pattern of star development and chemical evolution in our universe. Scarab Jew's forthcoming blast as a cosmic explosion holds interest for space experts and the general public alike, as it promises to be one of the most astounding events that could be seen from Earth in hundreds of years. Yet, beyond the sheer brilliance of such an explosion, its occurrence also offers a deeper understanding of the cycles that govern heavenly life. This gigantic star, like others of its kind, is a significant research laboratory for cosmologists attempting to unravel the secrets of how stars live and die. 
Heavenly advancement is an intricate process driven by the many-sided balance between a star's mass and the forces at work inside its core. For stars like Betelgeuse, which are named red supergiants, the process of atomic fusion is accelerated and reaches its final stages much quicker than in smaller stars like the Sun. While our Sun is supposed to live for roughly 10 billion years, stars like Betelgeuse can go from development to their final explosion in a matter of a few million years. This dramatic contrast in life expectancy is primarily due to the fact that larger stars consume their atomic fuel at a much quicker rate, a process that finishes in the creation of elements much heavier than hydrogen and helium. As Betelgeuse approaches the finish of its life, the core of the star is essentially made out of helium, carbon, and oxygen. In the center, the fusion reactions that sustain the star for a long period of time begin to wane. As the star depletes its hydrogen fuel, the core contracts under the force of gravity, making temperatures and pressures rise drastically. As this happens, the external layers of the star grow, expanding its size massively. These external layers, comprised of hydrogen and helium, are the parts of the star we see as Betelgeuse in its current form. It is these expanding layers that result in the star's red tone and massive iridescence, which can be seen from Earth as one of the brightest stars in the night sky. Regardless of its gigantic size, the external layers of Betelgeuse are relatively thin compared to the core, and they are held in place by the fragile balance between the gravitational pull of the core and the outward pressure from the fusion reactions. This keeps the star from collapsing inward entirely. However, as Betelgeuse runs out of fuel, the balance shifts. The fusion processes slow down, and the core's gravity becomes stronger than the outward pressure, initiating a catastrophic collapse. During the final stages of a red supergiant's life, the star goes through a process known as a core collapse supernova. When the core reaches a point where it can no longer support itself under the force of gravity, it implodes inward at an unbelievable speed, packing the material into a much smaller volume. The outer layers of the star are then ejected outward in a massive explosion that releases energy comparable to the energy output of the star over its entire lifetime, frequently more brilliant than the entire universe that contains the detonating star. This kind of cosmic explosion is one of the most powerful events in the universe, and it can outshine an entire galaxy for a short period of time. The explosion also plays an essential role in the vast cycle, enriching the surrounding interstellar medium with heavy elements like iron, nickel, and silicon. These elements are created in the star's core and dispersed into space during the explosion. The debris from the supernova serves as the building blocks for the formation of new stars, planets, and even life as we know IT.AS Betelgeuse nears the end of its life. Scientists closely monitor its behavior and examine its impact on the surrounding space. The study of stars like Betelgeuse provides a fascinating glimpse into the universe's most extreme phenomena, revealing crucial details about the mechanisms that drive cosmic evolution. Understanding how these massive stars behave, especially during the final stages of their lives, helps scientists predict the future of our own sun, as well as the fate of other stars in the Milky Way galaxy. One of the most remarkable aspects of red supergiants like Betelgeuse is their ability to undergo significant changes in their structure and luminosity as they approach their final phase. During the late stages of their lives, these stars experience rapid fluctuations in their brightness, which can be caused by various factors, such as the instability of their outer layers, complex internal reactions, and shifts in the star's core. In Betelgeuse's case, its sudden dimming and brightening suggest that it is going through a period of intense instability. These fluctuations are more than just a curiosity for astronomers. They provide essential information about how stars evolve and what conditions precede a supernova explosion. In addition to the star's internal processes, the environment surrounding Betelgeuse plays a key role in its fate. The interstellar medium, the vast, mostly empty space between stars, is far from inert. It consists of gas and dust particles that can be influenced by the gravitational forces of nearby stars. As Betelgeuse nears the end of its life, it will likely experience significant interaction with the surrounding material. This interaction can trigger the shedding of mass from the star, accelerating the process of collapse and the eventual explosion. Moreover, these interactions can also provide insight into the chemical makeup of space. As the ejected material from a star's death can seed the interstellar medium with new elements. Betelgeuse's eventual explosion will also have a profound effect on nearby objects. 
If it were to go supernova within the next several million years, it could send shockwaves through the surrounding space, potentially affecting nearby stars, planets, and even our own solar system. Although the distance between Earth and Betelgeuse is vast, the energy released in such an explosion could still have observable effects on our planet. Increased cosmic radiation could potentially impact Earth's atmosphere and even affect life forms, though this is still a matter of debate among scientists. As the study of Betelgeuse progresses, astronomers and astrophysicists continue to refine their models of stellar evolution, using the star as a crucial test case for understanding the life cycles of other massive stars. Observing Betelgeuse provides us with an invaluable opportunity to study the mechanisms of stellar death, the formation of supernovae, and the role these events play in shaping the universe. In time, as more data is collected, the insights gained from Betelgeuse may help answer some of the most fundamental questions about the life, death, and rebirth of stars in our galaxy. Additionally, Betelgeuse's eventual explosion will leave behind a legacy in the form of a remnant, which could be a neutron star or even a black hole. The exact outcome depends on the mass of the star and how much material is expelled during the supernova event. The formation of a black hole from Betelgeuse would be a truly remarkable event, as it would create a region in space where gravity is so strong that not even light could escape, leaving behind a mysterious and powerful cosmic object. The study of such remnants offers a unique glimpse into some of the most extreme conditions in the universe. These remnants are not only fascinating for their mysterious properties, but also for the role they play in the continued evolution of the universe, influencing the formation of new stars and galaxies.